Hey everyone. When they go, they go. Damn. I'm sorry, I haven't been posting videos. I've been really busy, and uh, that's why I'm posting this video. I'm gonna do a little recap. I'm just gonna walk around, so I figured I'd put a little intro on here so you can see what I look like. I got some facial hair. Um, uh, you know, I'm not too fat, but not skinny as I want to be. I gotta lose some weight. I'm on Weight Watchers, you know. It worked for Oprah, so I guess it could work for me. Hire me. Let's do it. Come on. What's wrong with you? Why don't you just call me or message me and go to producemusicathome.com and hire me through Soundbetter. Yeah, just do it. Damn. Bella, I'm gonna film this in 4K, okay? I got the wide angle lens on. You know, yesterday we got our Christmas tree. I just put up, I just put up a string of lights just so it had some lights. We gotta still do a lot more stuff to it. My son's truck, a 2003 Dodge Dakota. Uh, wouldn't start this morning, so Lara had to drive them to school. I had to go figure out what's going on with that sucker today. Probably just cold and old. Right, Belle? I'm also thinking of selling this. I like... <laughs> I like to try out equipment. I love this. It's an 1178. It's great on drums, overheads, a drum bus. It's a standard. Uh, lots of people use it, but uh, I like to keep things interesting. And sometimes the only reason I record is because I got a new toy to play with, unfortunately. I'm not the best songwriter. I love to play drums to songs, and I think I'm really good at that. But right now I don't have any songs to play to. Although I did record a song the other day. Well, no, I recorded drums the other day. And uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna just put bass on it or something. It's just like, I figure I, I, I can do drums. So if I record drums and send them to Matt and Scott from the Forrest Williams Democracy for our next song, maybe they can just get inspired off of a drum beat, I guess. Uh, that was the idea and I could record bass. But I just kind of get, I don't know, I just, I don't know. I just don't feel like it. I'd rather try to sell this and buy something. <laughs> I gotta put on my slippers. I got my L.L. Bean wool socks. And uh, gotta figure out which shoe is which. You gotta look at the bottoms of these just to figure out which freaking shoe, which one it is. I wanna get some Uggs. These are like, these are like fakey Uggs I got in, uh, up in Maine for cheap. I got the electric uh, fireplace on. Yep, I remember I was gonna do a whole series on Big Wreck uh, stories in front of the fireplace. Uh, you probably didn't see that because there was only one. Ethan's been playing guitar. He's playing this old Dan Electro. My sons, I have twin boys, they're 18. One of them's been playing the piano a ton um, thanks to an app called Piano something. <laughs> and uh, Ethan's been playing this. This is a Dan Electro from the late 90s that Ian got me for, for my birthday. Really nice gift. Uh, and the good thing about being one of my sons is you can use whatever you want. I don't care. I don't care if it's a $4,000 microphone, go ahead and use it. Things should be used. He used this. <clears throat> this vibro champ is awesome. It's like a 70s thing. And uh, I come home the other day and I hear the vibration, the vibro going. I'm like, oh, you took the vibro out because he was using this thing before. This is what I bought him when he was uh, young for like Christmas and he never took it out. He has his own electric guitar that I bought him for like, when he was like six, but he probably doesn't even know it's his because he never really played it yet. Yeah snowed out it's christmas time i've done pretty much all my shopping a lot of it on amazon my wife lara loves birds she feeds birds with multiple feeders it's really awesome <laughs> there isn't too much bird stuff around here um it's sweet right Belle? and you like to watch out for the birds and you like to chase away the squirrels that come and try to get us new couch uh, this is kind of like an update video this was my uh, wife's grandmother's uh, table. I love it. And I want to get a Compex. You know the Compex things? Um, Compex are the ones, the gear that we used on the PZMs, which I just sold a couple of. I, I get them off eBay in as new old stock as possible. And then I put them up, I modify them with XLRs and a nine volt battery thing that I learned from Matt and Chris Wardman when we recorded the first album. And uh, yeah, doing my laundry too, my day off. I buy these, like look at these, these are like mint. These ones are so mint and so complete that I didn't even modify them. I just listed them for somebody who might want them for like a uh, you know, time capsule museum type thing. Like, it's just amazing to open it up and look at it because it's just so mint. And here's a roughed up one. I just sold a pair, like you saw it by the door. So when I modify them, 
Uh, let's take a look at this one first. The non-modified one. If you're watching a video, I know what it looks like, but you don't. So let's take a look at the non-modified. Oh, I haven't even taken this out of the plastic. It still has the original plastic bag that it came in when it was brand new. I've never ever seen such a brand new set of these before. I got two of them. Brand, I put that, uh, I put that on uh, because it comes without a wrapping. It actually comes wrapped around. See those little notches there? They wrap the cable around it. Maybe I should put that back, but even has this original little windscreen. These are usually, usually what you find is what's left of these, which is just residue on the PZM itself from it wearing away and disintegrating. I don't use them. They're not really necessary. The Crown 30Ds that these copy don't come with these. I think they were just added as a consumer, consumer thing to get people uh, feel safe about buying this at Radio Shack. I don't know if you guys had Radio Shack up in Canada, but it's a place you could buy like walkie talkies. You could fix anything. You could get a soldering iron. You could buy some microphones. You could buy a computer. It was like my one of my favorite stores when I was a kid. It's gone now. So here's what I do. Uh, I get rid of this, this one, and put this one on. High quality. XLR professional. It adds a ground to it, so it means it won't hum anymore and it'll be low, much lower in the uh, noise department. In here, this usually would be a spot that says put a double A in there, but I wire it up with these that I also buy off eBay, brand new. I buy these off eBay, brand new. Solder it in there so you can put a nine volt on there and it increases the sensitivity, the loudness, the signal to noise ratio, it just boosts it. And it sounds even more wicked and louder. Um, so that's what I do, I start with that, and I end up with that, I sell them on eBay. Just look up PZM microphone and you'll find them. Look, these new ones, the, the ones that are totally mint, even come with an owner's manual. The original owner's manual, how cool is that? like never been opened look it doesn't even I love this I'm such a geek I love going through this stuff here's the different things you can do with them you could do it. pianos they work great on pianos look they just stick it underneath the grand piano and I love the one in here there's one for drums that is actually probably the best place to put it right in front of the bass drum we did a pair of those in front of the bass drum and a pair of those on a wall in front of the drums for the first record in loving memory of big record and holy smokes and then so those were put through a complex and that's what i want to get and they just came out with a uh, a reissue a couple years ago they're just as good as the originals a lot of this stuff that they made back in the 60s and 70s even the 50s with the neumanns like the u47 and the c12 akg they're all made in the 50s they can't make anything better they can't so they just copy it it's crazy you can't even make a better microphone you can't make a better compressor you can't make better preamps than these 70s neve 1073s this is a copy you just can't do it. This is great. If you guys don't know, um, if you guys don't know Calrec, look up Calrec. They're just like Neves, but cheaper. All right, I'm trying to open up thing uh, that I made for my current project. In between when I'm doing stuff for, as I was printing the label on eBay. In between when I'm doing stuff for other people, I record drums. I produce full songs, whatever anybody needs. I have a website. Where's my website? Don't look at my password. Don't try to hack my page and mess it up. Produce music at home is my thing. There's me, there's Big Rec. That means, yep, I've done something good. This is my new stuff. There's a video. There's me recording drums. Go on producemusicathome.com. And then, what was I gonna show you? Oh yeah, the song. I'll uh, load up Logic Pro. Logic is freaking awesome. I should have bought Apple stock back in the 90s when we're, everyone, every musician was using an Apple computer to do music and I didn't buy the stock. Well, I didn't buy stock until I was 22. How old was I? 73, 83, 93, 1995. Yeah, it would have been a good time to buy Apple stock, but I didn't even buy stock then. I just bought mutual funds. So uh, I, d I bought Netflix like 10 years ago. It sold it after it went up 20% real smart anyway my my advice for 
for retirement savings. And I know that that's why you're watching this video. <laughs> is to uh, put everything in an index fund by the entire market. In the US, it's the S&P 500. By the entire market, put 20% of your earnings every check just pull it right out of your check put it in in an index fund of the whole market and never touch it never look at it never not until you're ready to retire so here's my here's my recording i did an idea for the forest williams democracy i'll send this to the guys and see if they can do something with it oh i gotta go i don't have a mark to start at the beginning so here we go oh i gotta turn on the Hi hat mic. Last time, last time I recorded the other song without a hi hat mic, Matt was pissed. Not pissed, but he's like, "Can you use a hi hat mic, please?" So I do now. I just ran. I, at one point, I didn't have enough inputs to do a hi hat mic. I had an eight channel. Now I have a sixteen channel, so I have no excuse. I just get lazy sometimes, I guess. So hi hat, snare top. That's a old Shure 57. C12A uh, on a snare drum. That's the best snare drum mic ever. Bottom snare is the same kind of old 57. PZM, here's the PZM on the floor. Oh yeah. Isn't that awesome? Uh, now we go, oh, overheads, these are the 412 version of the, um, of the AKG, it's like before the 414, uh, after the C12A, which I have on the snare drum there, they're just awesome mics. Nice, beautiful cymbals, right? Alright. Kick in. Which in this case isn't inside because I'm using a 26 inch drum from the 20s that doesn't have a hole in it or anything. Here's a kick out, that's a Neumann U87 about a foot away. That's my favorite mic. Holy shit. Awesome. I love that mic. Toms. Toms are just, uh, again, 414s on the Tom 1 and 2, and I got a, I got a Sennheiser. I got a Sennheiser 421 on the floor, Tom. Here's a, oh, so this is Glenn John's setup. These are vintage U87s also. The snare drum, one's over the snare drum, one's over the floor, by the floor, Tom. Look it up. That just gives you a whole sound. You can just use that and a bass drum. And you're good. Let's use that with a kick out. Yeah. Keep it simple, right? That's three microphones. I like it. So that's what I did. So I just kind of, I found something and I looped it. And then I have a bunch of other stuff down here that I can play with later. I guess I could just send it to them. The birds are here. Those are like a bunch of finches, I believe. <laughs> I always call the birds and I call flowers the wrong thing. And Lara makes fun of me because I can never remember what the birds and the flowers and the, the plants are called. This is a snake plant. This morning I called it a spider plant and got corrected. And lots of fudge for other people and ourselves. Oh yeah. Let's see some fudge. Mm. Uh, once I start start eating like a beautiful, wonderful, yummy uh, sugar thing like this, I can't stop. It's not good. I can't stop. Uh oh, that's overflowing. Turn on the. Uh... All right, what else are we doing? Oh yeah, I'll just show you the drum I used. The drums I'm using right now. I had the PZM right there. 
This is the old drum I'm using. The, uh, my wife's grandfather's drums who played drums, which is really cool and interesting. Chrome plated brass Ludwig snare drum, 14 by six. I got these old made in Istanbul Zildjian's K Zildjian and company. And then right under that, it says Istanbul. You can't see it. And then Zildjian, so cool. Made in, it says made in Turkey. And then, yeah, you, I, don't, I don't know if you heard it, but I was using an old wood block. It came in the same thing as this. I don't know if this is what you're supposed to use for the wood block, but it worked to hold it. 22 inch deep ride. Best ride symbol I've ever used. Actually, I don't break symbols anymore, really, a lot. I used to when I was playing live, but I use smaller symbols. I used to use like 18s up here, and I use like 16s. That's a 16. This is probably a 5th. These are small too. These are... No, those are 14s. I used to use 15s. When you record and you start playing lighter and it sounds better. That's something I learned in my old age. This is what drummers learn when they go, Hey! What's going on? What a day is it? Today's Monday. Waste management? The trash guy's here? Who's here? Oh. Oh. You got a squirrel you gotta go get? Come on, let's go, let's get him. Let's get him, yep. Go get him. All right. We're all hard workers around here, even the dog.